Have you noticed those red or black lines in the rear glass of your car? It's not just there for design. The lines on the rear glass actually protect us from potential accidents. In this episode of Science Insights, we will look at the science behind those black lines in the rear glass of your car. Let's take a wire which is made of silver and connected to a battery. The electrons from the negative terminal of the battery flow to the positive terminal of the battery through the silver wire. If you touch the wire, you won't feel much heat. But if you connected a wire that's made of nichrome, which is a combination of nickel and chromium, you'd feel the wire heat up after some time. This is because silver has a lower resistance than nichrome which means the electrons from the battery flow more easily through the silver wire from one end to the other. The electrons travel through the silver wire like they're on a national highway that has perfect roads and minimal traffic. But in the nichrome wire, the electrons from the battery don't pass easily from one end to the other. It's like traveling on a busy narrow road that's full of traffic jams. This means the electrons hit the atoms in the nichrome metal wire more often than the silver metal wire. These collisions make the atoms in the nichrome metal wire vibrate. This vibration of the atoms creates heat. When electrons flow through any conductor, the conductor offers some obstruction to the flow of electrons and this obstruction is known as electrical resistance. The same nichrome metal is used to make the strips that are printed in the rear glass of cars. During the winter, fog may condense on the rear glass of your car. This could result in you being unable to see vehicles that are behind the car, which essentially creates a blind spot for the driver and could cause an accident. So to prevent this, car designers and manufacturers print this nichrome strip in the rear glass. So if you press the defog button in your car, the electrons from the battery flow through the nichrome strips and this makes the strips heat up. If any fog had condensed on the glass, the heat would make it evaporate away and make the glass clear again. Because of this heating property, nichrome metal is also used as a heating element in water heaters, ions, etc. In water heaters, when electricity is passed through the nichrome, the electrons face a lot of resistance and it generates heat. This heat is used to warm the water. In ions, nichrome heats up in the same way. It heats the plate of the ion so that we can use it to press clothes and make them crisp. So you can see how simple science could save your life. Stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for more real-time application-based content like this.